Hi guys. Okay, so this painting, um, I just want to start out by saying never give up. You might try something and in the middle you might say, what in the world? What have I done? But don't give up because in the end you get something absolutely beautiful that you never expected so just hang on for the ride with this one because this one was a ride for sure all right so I am painting on a canvas board because I was trying a new technique so <laughs> first things first we're doing a cut pour and I had my paints thick because with a cut pour your paints are supposed to be thicker than what you normally do with a Dutch pour which pretty much whenever I paint all my paints are thinner like I would be doing a Dutch pour because that's how I like them so what I did with these was I thickened them up and I made them really thick which they were too thick <laughs> but this is why I did it on a canvas board so I could you know just see how it went right um, canvas boards tend to warp um, once you put paint down which I ended up going to some of my Facebook groups and I found out that if you tape with painters tape because it doesn't stretch um, an X on the back then before you actually put the paint down then it should keep the corners from rounding up so um, I am going to be trying that next time we shall see what I ended up doing is as this one dried I gradually bent the edges and tried to keep it from warping so um, that seemed to work and then once I found out about the tape thing um, I applied the tape on the back part of the painting and um, so it now has tape on it to help keep it from warping even more so as of right now it's pretty flat which I'm pretty impressed with so okay here I am trying to put down this cut pour because I am determined to, <laughs> to try to do cut pours because everybody does them and they make them look fabulous and so I want to as well but I don't know if this is going to be something that I'm going to be able to master that's why I put it on the canvas board but anyways so um, the colors I used you know I'm thinking purple ultramarine gold figured I put some orange in there why not because orange purple you know that always looks good right it comes out of the cup totally different than I imagined that's the other thing I have to get used to is you know when you put things down for like a Dutch pour or something like that it's totally different than when you put things in a cup I just ah, I gotta get used to it man I really really do <laughs> um, so anyways um, uh, cut pours baffle me I, I just uh, I, I have to I have to figure them out they, they boggle my mind anyway so here I am I'm trying to stretch it out now when I do stretch it out now this is sped up that's how thick my paint is it's sped up according to iMovie because that's what I use to edit my movies it's sped up times eight 
So that's how slow this was moving. Now, when I s stretched it, when it got over like the edge, I got to see some really pretty purple under there. And I'm like, oh, so the purple is there. It's just not showing. I'm like, okay. So, cause y'all know, girl gotta have her purple. So anyways, I was like, okay, well, let's just keep going with it. See what happens. Cause again, don't give up. You just keep working with it, right? You know, I see a lot of people who, you know, on in the artist forums on Facebook who are like, should I scrape it? Should I? There's so many different, you know, you got balloons and well, now you have my spoon technique. Um, <laughs> you, you have, um, you know, just so many things that you can try before you actually scrape it. Um, just don't give up because you know I mean you can just try and I, I'm glad I didn't give up on this one because this this one um, I ended up really loving this and um, shockingly I got fall colors which I was not going for but hey <laughs> Paint is always surprising me, you know. Um, but anyways, yes, this this paint it was very, very, very thick. So the next time I try a cut pour, I will have to thin it out for sure, thinner than what I had it. Um, but see, there's there's a little bit of that purple. You can see it. Um, but, uh, so then I go pull out my trusty blower. Yay! <laughs> Pippi and her blower. My trusty blower. Yes. Um, because I was like, you know what? Let's blow it. Let's see if we can find that purple under there. Um, and, and then I get this awesome, like, I don't know, dusty fall bronze color I guess the orange that mixed with the gold in the cup I I don't even know how this was created I, I I have no idea but I am in love with this color and and how it came out um, but again just it all needs to develop because once I did this part of it, then it was bringing me back memories way back. And I will link it up top to um, my metallic pour, which was another one that I did not fix when it was wet. And I should have. It was really dark in the middle and I just let it dry the edges it looked perfect but then I didn't fix the middle and I'm still I still look at that thing to this day wondering how do I fix the middle I don't know yet but um, if you guys want to watch a pour that kind of went wrong that's the metallic pour <laughs> Um, so here I am trying to lighten the middle a little bit and um, with my thick paint add some more of that orange um, that orange is uh, uh, Arteza and Amsterdam and then um, I was very close to being out of that playful pink by um, Art. Uh, no, is it Arteza? Yes, Arteza iridescence. And then here I am, like blowing the white over, kind of trying to do this. I don't know, fancy Dutch pour thing. I don't even know. I was fooling around. <laughs> 
because you got to have fun with it, right? <laughs> and uh, I blow it out, and I'm like, okay. So I kind of created the same colors that I still had in there, which was good, right? You, you, don't, you, you want all the colors to blend in. But I'm like, ah, still didn't do it. So I pull out my next tool that you use, and it's a trusty balloon. So here we go. Now, now we go in for you know. Let's let's make some flower-like design, right? And we go at it. And um, I, I end up really liking what it's doing, but I'm also at the same time I'm taking out some of the thick paint that's in there as well. So I'm, I'm doing two things at once. And oh look, that just made a beautiful flower right there. I really like that one down on the bottom. Um, I was very proud of that one. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, yeah, so pretty much the balloon can do two things. So it, it makes these awesome shapes, but then it also can help remove some paint at the same time. Um, but then I was like, you know what, I need to add some color because it was getting kind of muddy. And, um, so we go in there with some Amsterdam ultraviolet and some, um, Amsterdam ultramarine. And now those two were actually my thinner paint. Um, the, when they're in those bottles, that's the normal paint consistency that I use um, for my Dutch pours and you know all this stuff. It is not the thicker consistency. So that paint I'm familiar with. I can work with that. <laughs> it does what I want it to do. Um, and so it was nice because it put in that little pop of color that I needed to go with the white. Um, so I was I was very happy with you know what it was doing um, so now I'm just on a roll I'm like all right let's go this is this is working this is this is doing what I want and, and then see I just made another awesome flower down there okay let's go over here and see oh yeah look at that one all right let's go <laughs> I was on a roll oh look there's another one uh, <laughs> So uh, yeah, it, it once once you know we we started with the uh, the balloon. It was just like oh yeah, and then you know okay, let's do just a little bit more pop of color, and uh, yeah, it was. Um, I started to really uh, enjoy this painting, but at first it was just like oh boy, what are we gonna do? So you know it just the the development. You just have to work with it and be patient and you know just kind of um in a way do what the paint wants you to do you know um and and utilize the tools that are there and just you know work with it and i did not realize now we're going to go down and see the wet reveal um when i did the wet reveal i did not realize that this shows better if it's upright because it ends up kind of looking like a nest like a flower nest which you will see when I show you the dry reveal but um, this is just um, I have fallen in love with this painting um, it's just absolutely amazing I, I am thrilled with uh, the results so just never, ever, ever, I mean, look at that, it just looks, never, ever, ever give up. Never give up. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come check me out on Instagram. And have a wonderful weekend. It is Labor Day weekend. <laughs>